Hello and welcome to another episode of Life Stuff 101. This is day 19 of the series of mini episodes as part of the Challenging Times Self-Care Challenge. My name is Mio Yokoi. I work as a registered psychotherapist in Toronto, Canada, and also as a coach and supporter to striving highly sensitive folks everywhere. Before we begin, I'd like to make sure to mention that what I share on this podcast is for general information purposes only and not meant to be specific advice. And for personalized help, questions, or concerns you may have, please consult your doctor or appropriate medical or mental health care provider. Welcome to date 19 of the Challenging Times Self-Care Challenge. The goal of this podcast is to inspire folks to take care of mental health on an ongoing basis. And this time, more than ever, is a crucial time to do so. And these self-care challenge episodes are meant to give you a little something to add a bit of structure to your day to help with self-care. And it's my hope that by building in some time for self-care, it might help to support your emotional and mental health during this time of crisis. Or even if these prompts serve as distractions for a few moments in your day, I hope that can be helpful too. And I'll also make sure to repeat in every one of these challenge episodes that at this time in our lives, during this crisis, just getting through moment to moment, day to day, minute to minute, in and of itself is a lot. These self-care prompts are here to support you. So this challenge isn't about productivity. It's about you taking care of yourself. If you'd like to be notified when each of these episodes are uploaded, you can either subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts, or you can also go on over to lifestuff101.com slash challenge, which has a list of every episode. And before we get into day 19 of the challenge, the day 18 challenge prompt was managing the sameness of every day while we're spending more time at home. Too much of anything can be the cause of imbalance. Whether it's at this strange time in our lives when we're spending so much time at home or in one place more than ever, or a daily routine even before all of this that might have felt as though there's a sense of stuckness or sameness. It can be helpful to keep in mind that when there's too much sameness or even too much routine, it can be difficult to separate one day from another. On one hand, we certainly can engage in completing the prompt that was provided for day 18, where making sure to take time to mindfully reflect on each day can help us to know that each day, even slightly, is in fact different. But we can also try to intentionally build in something new on a daily or regular basis, whether it's sitting in a different spot in your home than you're used to, or trying out a new recipe, or taking a shower at a different time than you're used to in that day. I would imagine that once there's a new normal in life when we're no longer needing to stay at home as much, many of us will have more gratitude for the new routine, which will undoubtedly have more variety. But maybe having the intense level of sameness we currently have will also give us the opportunity to consider the choices we can make in our lives more intentionally when more choices will be available to us. Have you noticed that the days that are feeling like Groundhog Day during this time when we're all spending more time at home? please let me know how you're doing. You can reach out to me on Twitter at Lifestuff101Pod, on Instagram at Lifestuff101Podcast, or on the website at Lifestuff101.com. Now let's get into day 19 of the self-care challenge. And today's prompt is, it's okay to rest or to take a break. If you've been listening to these self-care challenge episodes for a while, you've undoubtedly heard me repeat over and over again the self-care prompts provided in these episodes are not meant to be about productivity. There are many of us who live with the predominant philosophy or even just the constant gnawing feeling that we have inside that we are always having to be doing something and getting things done. And during this time, as we're all individually dealing with the global crisis, it can feel as though we have more time to be getting things done. Many of us might be buying into the thought of there's more time now, as though we've chosen to take this time for ourselves. It's my belief that while there may be more time at home, and that may also mean that there's more unoccupied or structured time, it doesn't mean that we ourselves are in the most optimal place to have the energy, mood, or mindset to be tackling and completing projects. While we're all very different, and each of us is dealing with the current state of things differently, we are all also under a certain amount of stress 
brought on by these hugely drastic changes. And even if we might not consciously know or feel the amount of stress we're under, it's very likely that so many unknowns we're currently all facing do have some kind of an impact on each of us. It can be hard to know the impact of something that we're not able to see and touch, but this is where the need for taking care of our mental and emotional health can be so important. Let's just assume that we are actually experiencing more stress than we may consciously realize. So the self-care challenge prompt for day 19 is, it's okay to rest or to take a break. As much as it can feel good to get things done, it might also feel really great to take an intentional break and rest too. I can go on and on about the importance of sleep, but that's a conversation for another day. For now, let's think about taking an intentional time out to relax for today's challenge. So here are your steps for today's challenge. Step one, set aside 15 minutes to complete today's challenge. Step two, before beginning, take three slow, deep breaths. Step three, If you have either a mental or physical to-do list for today, choose one thing or more you can intentionally say no to, and then take the remainder of the time you set aside for today to complete the self-care prompt to not do anything, or maybe even do something that you enjoy. This can seem a little strange, but notice if there's a difference when you have intentionally decided not to do something versus feeling a sense of pressure if you might have been procrastinating over getting things done. Step four, end off today's prompt by taking three slow, deep breaths. The larger point of today's self-care prompt is for us to value and embrace rest more because as paradoxically as it may seem, we are better equipped to manage more when we also take the time to rest well and often. I hope you're continuing to take care during this challenging time. Please reach out to me and let me know how you're doing. I can be reached on Twitter at Lifestuff101Pod or on Instagram at Lifestuff101Podcast or on the website at Lifestuff101.com. So that's day 19 of the Challenging Times Self-Care Challenge. It's okay to rest or to take a break. Thank you for participating in these challenges and stay tuned for day 20 of the Self-Care Challenge. Until then, please stay safe and in good health wherever you are in the world, and I'll be speaking with you again real soon.